Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're looking at Anodyne, which is a top-down Zelda-like kind of adventure exploration game. And I hear it involves some dreaminess and some abstractness and you know how much I love those types of things. So I've actually gone ahead and already mapped this ahead to my uh, 360 controller and we're just going to give it a shot and see how it is. This is a demo, not a full game. Uh, the full game, I believe, is coming out sometime mid to late fall of this year, 2012, in case you're watching this off in the future. And I guess this is where we find out about our uncle, who is, uh, dead in the dungeon and needs some help or something. Uh, hello? Young? Hey. Oh, you can hear me. I thought the, uh, thing flashing in the bottom right corner was a heart for a second, and I was like, oh, that's awfully cute. It's not, though. It's just a little red arrow. Good, now listen. Listen! Alright, you're about to wake up. You'll use the arrow keys to move around. Or the D-pad on your 360 controller if you're like me. Oh, this is cool. Got some sweet Tetris blocks rolling around, uh, parallaxing or whatnot in the background. Very, uh, odd perspective, actually. The, uh, the ground on the bottom of this tile set seems to look like it's, um... I don't know, like, you can see the side of it, but yet... I guess we're looking at, like, a very, very high angle or something. It's hard to determine, because these edges are square is all I'm seeing, but whatever. Not a big deal. <clears throat> so let's check out our UI here. So we've got a menu, which we can enter uh, with start, or uh, what was it, X, I think, default. Card, save, config. Not a lot of options, but that's okay. Resolution, full scaled. Um, I'm gonna leave this in the default resolution. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out in terms of resolution quality for the video, but if anything, I will uh, stretch it just a little bit, maybe leave some black bars, uh, depending on how it looks good. You know, I do like my widescreen when possible for YouTube, but it's not always possible. Uh, so, you know, not everything can be high def, because clearly we're looking at, like, 8-bit retro-esque pixel art here, and that doesn't scale well. Uh, when you look at the bigger stuff. So we've got keys, we've got zero of those, actually we don't have keys, in fact. And we've got a pretty cool looking life bar there with six units of health. Where will we go? Nobody knows. We've got shapes, we will press the C key to interact with objects and people around me. I do love to interact with stuff. Um, I guess I can't interact with those ice cubes. But I can interact with these switches. Those ice cubes are just blocking me from moving forward, I guess. And I'll press the enter key to access the menu, which will provide you with information about yourself and your surroundings. Yes, uh, information. No information. Thank you, though. Oh, this is so earthbound. I love it. The music is right out of it. Writing's for Even the art, in a way, is kind of earthboundy. Like, the random kind of crazy moments when things get really psychedelic and trippy. Sometimes if you talk to people multiple times, they have new things to say. Well, I was born in 85, so I'm I'm definitely past the point of needing to know that. <laughs> but that's just me. Some people do need to still learn that. Well, it's about time. I mean, greetings, young. I am Sage, the village elder. Are you going to tell me to go find three stones, and then eventually find nine stones, and then eventually find a sword, and then eventually find a shield? I don't know. That's not exactly the order of how it goes, but you know what I mean. Uh, you will have uh, you have been summoned here because the darkness... Uh oh the darkness has tentacles. Spread across the land, the darkness seeks the legendary briar to use the briar's power for evil. I usually use briars for ice cream, but that's a different thing. You must reach it first. You must protect the briar. I will do my best, especially if it's mint chocolate chip. Statue of the Village Elder, in name only, for he is neither. Hmm. While standing on the checkpoint, press C to set your respawn point if you die. Very cool. Done. Uh, what's going on over here? Doesn't look like a whole lot. Okay, I'm playing this with headphones, and the music is freaking awesome. Like, it's actually, it's strobing back and forth between my ears. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and recommend that if you go ahead and download this, uh, play with headphones on. It seems pretty cool. Not sure how integral the music is to the overall experience, but so far I'm, I'm enjoying it. This character is sort of an interesting, uh, 
group of things to me. I mean, I'm seeing his eyes and his looks like goggles, but I'm sure they're just big glasses, and I'm sort of thinking of uh, Psychonauts a little bit. And then the white hair, I don't know exactly what reference I'm getting from white hair, but... Definitely a lot of, like, Earthbound Final Fantasy Dragon Warrior feelings going on there. Alright, is there anything else to do here, or is just this endless grouping of rooms that don't go anywhere? I think that's what it is. Alright, back over here. Did I? I didn't go this way yet, okay. Alright, dive in. Where we be? Looks like the road. Having a Dear Esther moment. Oh, we should probably, uh, checkpoint again. Can I go back? Oh, I can go back. Alright, didn't mean to do that. I didn't realize we were actually looking at the road. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Stay here, please. We're actually looking through the road, or to the road, from that gate. I thought that the road was actually just, uh, like a doors. A big set of doors. That doesn't go anywhere. Uh-oh, we got blobbies. What do they have? Nothing. They don't even want to fight. Doesn't look like it anyway. They look kind of bored. Let's go the other way. So as you may know, I'm a pretty big fan of Zelda-esque adventure exploration type games. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to take a lot of convincing for me to enjoy this game. We've got a broom. Press C to sweep. Oh man, dust force moment. Well, a broom is not exactly the most badass weapon you could get, but I guess it'll start be a start for us anyway. So now I should be able to fight the slimes on the other side. What happens if I fall in these? Can I do such a thing? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, same exact thing as in Zelda. Uh, specifically linked to the past, of course. Which still probably my favorite Zelda game. I won't do the whole Zelda explanation. La uh, last time I did that was in the Seedling episode, and that didn't end well. People don't like my opinions on Zelda, so I won't talk about it. <laughs> Uh, the key may be used a single time to open up a locked barrier. Well, I think I know where that barrier might be. Alright, kill a couple more slimes. Not a big deal. Alright, have full health. Don't need to worry about that. Ooh, nice lighting effect. What the hell is that? I'm terrified. Oh, it's just a phantom. Man, those underpasses, those, those are dangerous. I do not want to spend any time there. What is that? My broom is full of dust! Attack again to place it. Interesting. I don't think I've ever moved dust around in a video game before. I mean, I've deleted it from existence, but I don't think I've just straight up moved it around. Alright, we've got some kind of weird tablets and, like, futuristic technology-looking stuff here. Maybe. Or maybe it's just a forest, I can't quite tell. Heads up! Girl on a bike. Uh-oh. Can't stop. Sorry about that, I was going way too fast. I've done that before, it's, it's dangerous stuff. You gotta find a wall to smash into. Oh, I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? Huh? You wanna protect the briar from the evil darkness? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about, but sounds cool, I guess. I've just been out and about, peddling my wares. What? No, I'm not a salesman. Where's the name of my bicycle? Oh. <laughs> Good joke. Well, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. I'll let you know if I hear anything about that briar. Thanks, lady. Have fun on your bicycle named wares. Back to dungeon crawling. Really liking the pixel art so far. Everything's looking lovely. Got nice uh, little highlighted edges on stuff when it needs to be highlighted, and shadows when they need to be shadows. Wow, bat time. Nice animations on those bats. They look very nice. Oh, it's you again. Soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you'll need both strength and intellect, and I assume that by this point you have found a weapon. Well, I mean, yes, of course, a broom, er... Just as was foretold in the legend. I like how this is kind of tongue-in-cheek about it. What's this statue up to? I've seen a broom in a legend. It was on the map of a janitor closet. <laughs> So this game has a little bit of a sense of humor, which is nice. 
You never want it to get too dry. Edward, once a man came and installed a mirror in our bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scoured every inch of the wooden frame, spraying Murphy's oil soap into the cracks, thinking I might short-circuit the wires. Of course, I never found anything. Well, that is one of the strangest things that I've run into an NPC and had them say. Uh, yeah. Really not thinking that a lot of people are going to be installing cameras into your bathroom. Alright, so now I'm getting the picture of what all these rooms are about. Little uh, teleporters to different elements in your dream. So if I talk to you here again, activate the... Or enter the active portal on your left to begin your... Oh, okay, you're still stuck on that, huh? Let's go back. I like how there's not really loading. It just sort of goes... I never looked to the other side. I should probably check there first before I head in. I like the look of that temple, though. That was pretty cool. If they're going for the Zelda references, like, they're dead on. And they're doing it in a way that seems tasteful. I mean, obviously it's referential, but it's not, like, uh, ripping it off or anything. It's just a nice nostalgic moment. So what's over here to the left? I didn't check this side. Oh, more blobbies. Okay. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep. Lots of health. Very generous with the health. Anything over here? Oh, we've got a gate that I can't get through. Okay, so I was actually fine to just keep going in the other direction. This is clearly our next destination after I finish that temple out. Uh, anything over here? Well, there's a rock I can check out. Let's take a look at that. Rock says, I'll bet you're reading a rock because you don't have any friends. Oh. <laughs> Might be onto something with that. Um, so we've got a chest here. Looks like we can open. Oh, it's a card of the paranoid guy with the mirror. Alright, well, we've got him in our collection, I guess. Not sure why that's good, but glad to have it, I guess. We want all the stuff, so... Broom it up. So back to the temple we go. I like how this didn't take a long time to get started either. I don't know if it's just the demo or if it's just the way the game actually is, but it's kind of refreshing to not have to go through a lot of tutorializing and stuff at the beginning. Uh, especially when a game can kick the game off, like, running with the actual elements uh, while teaching you them at the same time. I think that's successful game design, and this one does have that. It just gets boring, you know? Like, if you just spend too much time learning all these elements, and especially if you've played a bajillion games in your life anyway. Like, it, it won't take you long to figure this stuff out. I know you have to kind of cater to the lowest common denominator, though. It's not like you can expect everybody to just know how games work because not everybody was born when I was born and not everybody has the same experience as I had. This looks like an enemy straight out of Zelda though. Okay, that was a little iffy. Pretty sure I fought somebody just like that before. We got Pokemon-esque rocks here. So what's going on over here? I don't think I need to mess with them too much. So this is where I guess I can move the dust around to be useful. Oh, we got a low light situation. That's kind of nice. I wasn't expecting that there would be dynamic lighting. Rock, peripheral vision is the hive of demons. That is terrifying. Peripheral vision is the hive of demons. That's like the scariest thing I've ever heard. Just think about that. It's like they're right outside of your eyesight and you can't see them and you can't do anything about it. You can see them, but you can't look at them. I get floaters sometimes in my eyes that are like that, and that just drives me crazy. Let's move this dust in the way of that. Especially at night, like if your low light vision isn't that good, that can be a real problem. Like, you can't really tell what's going on. I need to get above this guy, don't I? Ah, crap. There we go. Almost went off on a rant about glasses, but I think I'm going to hold that one back for a uh, news update video or something. <laughs> Not really necessary today. Uh, so we've got a couple of keys now. 
Oh. Makes a nice defeated sound when those things blow up. Can I put some dust or rocks on those? I don't think I can. Can I push this guy onto it? Oh yeah, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to do. Push, 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 push. How do I get you to go up though? I don't know if I can do that. You don't move! Move around, please! Oh, crap. I don't think I can do much about this. Oh, I can stand on it. I guess that works. I thought it was going to need to be activated both at the same time and both by them. Uh, I don't think I need him. What's in here? Oh, right, I have a map, don't I? Derp! Uh-oh, it's a trap room. That doesn't really scare me that much. I can't decide if it's a cool thing that you can move dust around, or if it's kind of corny. I, it might be a little of both, but at the same time, whether it's corny or not, it's still a good idea. Uh, I mean, essentially, when you first start out any game, you don't get very much in the way of tools. And especially an adventure type game like this, where you pretty much... you don't get anything, you just get a sword, usually. Uh, and eventually you get some tools beyond that. How am I supposed to do this? Grab this and then keep placing it further each time? Oh, it's stuck there. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, I can use one to place the other, can't I? <clears throat> I'm a smart. <clears throat> Taking a lot of damage, though, for no reason. I forgot, what do we call damage that you shouldn't have taken? It's got a name. Oh, do you not keep your dust through rooms? Pardon, my voice is just cracking up. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to move that there. Let's checkpoint. Let's go down. Over. Another key room. Can I do anything? Let's get some more health, can we please? Oh, my health's full. I guess when I checkpointed. I don't need to be here. Okay, let's go back up. Bat. Better watch yourself. Kind of a lot of rooms that don't seem to do anything, though. And not really difficult puzzles, either. Just, like, nothing's going on. Uh, how do I leave, though? I gotta go all the way back, don't I? Those blobs must stay dead. There's a chime going off, which I'm guessing might be signifying... Yeah, the slime does stay dead. Might be signifying that uh, I've done everything there is to do in that room. That's what I'm guessing. I'm not sure, though. Oh, right. There's dust over here. What's this button do? Not much. I forgot. I must have already used it. Okay, what's going on? Ominous. No music. Oh, isn't it cute? Precious little young, playing the hero. But I have witnessed every step you have taken in the land, and let me tell you, young, not everyone here is as honest as me. Be careful who you trust. These days, I don't know the people I'm supposed to trust, and I don't trust the people I'm supposed to know. Uh, this guy seems like he might be a little tricky. Wow, there's a lot of shaking going on. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Alright, I used my dust strategically there, and my dust has moved. How many hits does this guy take? Because I'm used to three. No, get the dust. Put it down. I'm safe, right? Okay, good. It just totally breaks it when that happens. Can't reach. Can't reach. Oh, did I kill him? I'll be with you, young, whenever you are alone. That's creepy. And remember my advice on your little adventure. That's a lot of exploding you're doing there. That's maybe a few too many explosions, but that's okay. Hey, it's a horrible, creepy thing. What is that? You're supposed to be a fairy. Why are you so creepy? Oh, you're gonna go live on my life bar now? 
Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. Oh, it's you again. At this point, you're still weak. If you hope to protect the briar from the darkness, you must face your fears. The cards you'll find in this chest and others like it are symbols of your growth. So acquiring them is absolutely vital to your quest. I believe you. Well, I'll take the key because I know where that goes. Can I? There we go. Another one of those witty statues over there. It's probably going to talk trash again. Ow! Right in the skull. Statue, acquiring cards is vital to your quest. I don't know why yet. Acquiring cards is also vital for other quests, such as earning credit or purchasing alcoholic beverages. That is entirely true. It's the creepy head skull card. Hooray. Statue does not look like it will be moving anytime soon. How about it moves anyway, because I'd like to go behind it. How about I put the key in it? Okay, maybe not. Completed this first trial, but so much more is necessary. Leave the temple young and continue your quest. I'd be happy to, although I'd prefer to go out by that statue. No, 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 not gonna get me, although you got me. Got enough of you guys. I'd like to get my hook shot now. Please. Oh, jeez, how am I supposed to? Oh, I gotta go the other way, don't I? I guess that's semi-clever, makes you go back a different way. Oh, I didn't give the blob card. So I guess I gotta go back on the left side. I think I'll be okay with that idea. Can I even do that? Dust. I'm used to when you finish a Zelda dungeon, they pretty much just drop you off at the entrance. Oh, crap. So how the hell do I get out? Can I teleport somehow? It's nice that there's a little bit of a delay on those things. Go through... something? Can I just run between these things? Yeah, okay, I can. Well, okay, I kind of thought that they were gonna just beat me to death if I try to go in the way of them or something. Like, they would stun lock me. That is not the case, however. Grumble, grumble, of all the incompetent... Hey, what are you still standing here for? I don't know. Grumble, grumble. I still have two keys, don't I? Hey, what? <laughs> Game just pushed me back into the other room for no reason. Very, very ominous music in this area right now. Kind of like it, though. For a second, I was thinking that this uh, wall here was actually like the edge of a hillside, like we were walking above a plane underneath us. I mean, clearly that's not the case, but I guess I'm sort of conditioned into seeing hillsides on things. Not the most relevant thing to say. I guess also it's because the actual staircases look just like those walls in terms of color palette. And by the way, that is something I like. The color palette is very nice in this game. It's sort of muted, uh, which is cool. You've reached the end of the Anodyne demo. Oh, I was having a good time. Thanks for playing. Did you find all four of the cards? I think I found like five of the cards, didn't I? There's still a large world left to explore. What lies beyond the gate? Is the Briar real? Who is the sage? Is the land an actual place? I think it's a dream, isn't it? Is the darkness real? I know Jamie S. Staccato or whatever his name is knows the darkness is real. Find out in late fall 2012. I should also mention this game is on green light right now, so I highly recommend you guys go and vote on it. Um, I'm going to be doing that. In fact, if I haven't already, I'm going to be adding it to my official Indie Impressions uh, green light collection, which you can access via the link in the description below. Uh, did I get all the cards? I feel like I did. Yeah, I got all the cards. I thought I got five, actually, but I guess not. And uh, not really any extra items yet. That's okay, though. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff we get into later on. I hope this game isn't super short, and I hope the dungeons uh, last a while and you get some cool items, because that's kind of the, the big draw of Zelda-like exploration adventure games. Solve puzzles with weird items and get all kinds of crazy stuff that you didn't expect to get. 
I'd say a broom is definitely a step in the right direction, although I can't shoot it when I have full health. I'm very upset about that. Not really, though. I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, Anodyne, very cool. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, check out the demo for yourself if you like. I'll put the link in the description and vote on it on Greenlight and check it out when it comes out. I'm pretty excited. I actually would like to revisit this when we get a full version of the game. So thank you to the developers for recommending this one to me and thank you guys for watching. And remember, as always, to head on over to the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. Check out the forums, check out all my reviews and impressions videos neatly sorted and categorized for your perusal and uh, make some friends in the forums and remember to head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions as well because I post every night's video there too and then my two twitters at rockley smile and at indie impression feel free to send me game recommendations chat with me about whatever and just uh you know meet me up and exchange ideas that's that's what I'm here for promoting indie games meeting cool people and uh, just getting discussion going uh, getting the word out about games that deserve it and this one definitely deserves it so I hope to hear from you, and I hope you come back again tomorrow for another episode, because I do these episodes every single day. New indie game a day, going for a whole year's worth, so I hope you stick around, because I'll be here. Alright, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.